up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream happy new music friday it is time for a brand new reaction now with the beef settling down pretty much seeming like it's over now i'm feeling a little bit feeling a little bit evil i want to get into some something heavy and i know exactly what i should check out i should check out this new song from like Moss the flames over the garden wall this is going to be a sample of their newest project that has just dropped the cycles of trying to cope i am a huge fan of like Moss the flames i really really love no eternity to gold i really really enjoyed some of their past eps that have been coming out with recently no doubt in my mind that i won't enjoy this so let's just get right into the reaction ready set go Already feeling menacing. Some melodrama. With the guitar playing is awesome. Oh, I'm going hard when I play in this song in the fucking gym. I swear to God, baby, I'm going fucking hard. Dude! I love the moments of melodrama here, man. So good. I think it's about time we declare Chris Roder as one of the best metal vocalists in the game right now. That was pure adrenaline. Holy shit. I will admit, with this band and just with metalcore in general, it can feel very formulaic with this new wave of metalcore 
I can see the argument where people don't really care for the transition or trying to start to call it not metal at a certain point with like bands like Bad Omens, um, definitely with Sleep Token. I think people even mentioned Spirit Box in that formula, which I personally don't agree with. But I absolutely love what bands and artists like Polaris, like Moss the Flames, Poppy. I just really, really love what they're doing right now to just keep the edge and just keep like the gruesomeness into the aesthetic of metal right now because oh my god they have so much power into it oh we even got to mention knock loose and their knock loose has been absolutely killing it this was absolutely disgusting this was a full-on slapper i thought this song was a full banger performance wise is where this really stands out i mean with the whole cueing and just the pacing overall it's executed so perfectly in my opinion i just love the way they added the dynamic with its variants with the guitar playing they had like some muted moments that you felt like you get to really focus on and then with those choruses really just like just like spewing out hitting with those chords along with the bass it's like it's a little typical again like something that's a little bit more strategic something that you see a little bit more but it works because the standout is chris roder on these melodics it is just hitting so hard and then when you get back into the transitioning into the verses into the bridges into like the pre-chorus he is screaming that dude is murdering the track and he's still continuing to blow me away with some moments i know what he's capable of but he's still just throwing it down and then just oh when you get into those stutter moments when they are just obliterating the track and it's just it, 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 pounding pounding with rage and fury and fire and blood and Ugh, so much violence the downside tracks like this do becoming off a little bit dangerous because i have this urge just to headbang and i feel like i'm slowly starting to develop some cte but there you have it that's a reaction that is my thoughts on the track over the garden wall from like Moss to Flames, be sure to check out the newest record out, The Cycles of Trying to Cope. I'm gonna try to review it this week before I leave for Vegas, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the track. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be catching the next one. Deuces.